Right now, somewhere over the Nevada desert, a fighter jet is practicing combat maneuvers with a wingman that costs one-tenth the price, requires zero years of training, never blacks out under G-forces, never hesitates under pressure, and will willingly take a missile that would have killed its human partner. This isn't science fiction. It isn't a prototype. The future of air combat is already here, and its name is the General Atomics Gambit-6. If you're enjoying this breakdown so far, hit that subscribe button. We decode complex global systems like this every week. The Gambit-6 isn't just another drone. It marks one of the biggest leaps in American air power since the birth of stealth technology. The U.S. Air Force calls it a Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, and that term alone represents an enormous shift in mindset. For the first time, fighter pilots will no longer enter battle alone. They'll fly alongside high-speed, semi-autonomous wingmen that can scout ahead, jam enemy defenses, launch strikes, overwhelm radar networks, or even sacrifice themselves to protect the pilot. Picture the airframe, a sleek, angular jet about two-thirds the size of an F-35, powered by a single engine and built with stealth shaping that reduces radar signature from key angles. It has no cockpit, no ejection seat, and none of the mass or volume needed to keep a human alive at 30,000 feet. Instead, every inch of the aircraft is engineered for speed, sensors, weapons, electronic warfare modules, and an AI core that analyzes incoming data at machine speed. The intent is bold. Gambit 6 flies with the pilot, not for the pilot. Its job is to expand the reach of manned fighters and force enemies into impossible tactical decisions. Imagine a formation, one F-35 in the rear and four Gambit-6 drones flying ahead. The drones spread wide, scanning hundreds of miles with infrared sensors, electronic receivers, and radar. One detects a missile battery, another marks an enemy aircraft, a third listens for radio emissions. All of this data flows to the human pilot through an encrypted network. And with a single command, a simple high-level signal, the drones coordinate, maneuver, approach, strike, evade, or withdraw. This flexibility is what makes Gambit-6 revolutionary. General Atomics designed the aircraft with a fully modular architecture. The entire mission payload can be swapped out in hours. Need air-to-air -air capability? Load AIM-120 or AIM-9 missiles. Need surveillance? Install a long-range electro-optical sensor. Need electronic attack? Fit jammers and decoys. Need to overwhelm enemy radar? Load false target generators. There's even potential for kinetic strike packages, small diameter bombs, anti-radiation missiles, or future hypersonic microweapons. One of the most important design philosophies behind Gambit 6 is the concept of attritability, meaning the drone is intentionally engineered to be expendable. Losing a drone in battle is acceptable. Losing a pilot is not. An F-35 costs around $80 million, but Gambit 6 is projected to cost between $12 and $18 million depending on payload. That price difference unlocks completely new strategies. The Air Force can now send unmanned assets deep into high-threat territory, places layered with enemy missiles, radar, anti-aircraft guns, and electronic warfare without risking a human life. But none of this works without AI. Gambit-6 uses an advanced mission processing system that fuses inputs from multiple onboard sensors, as well as data from satellites, AWOCs, surface forces, and other aircraft. It classifies threats, chooses optimal positions, recommends tactics, and executes maneuvers at speeds that no human can match. Dogfights, missile evasion, radar spoofing, and electronic warfare require split-second timing, and the AI can make micro-adjustments faster than human reflexes allow. The pilot's role shifts from hands-on control to command and decision authority, a tactical quarterback, rather than a direct operator. Give this video a like if this makes the future of air power easier to understand. It helps more curious people discover it. Gambit-6 is also faster and more dynamic than traditional drones like the Predator or Reaper. Those earlier aircraft were built for endurance operations in uncontested skies, following targets for hours. Gambit-6 is the opposite, a high-agility, short-to-medium-range, high-performance jet optimized for contested airspace. Some analysts estimate its top speed at Mach 0.9, fast enough to keep up with 4th and 5th generation fighters during combat scenarios. 
It doesn't match the extreme stealth of a B-2 or F-22, but its reduced radar cross-section makes it substantially harder to track or engage than any previous unmanned aircraft. The real impact appears when you imagine multiple gambits coordinating as a pack. The Air Force envisions formations where one human pilot controls six drones or more, each executing tasks autonomously unless overwritten. This transforms a fighter squadron into a distributed, flexible, harder-to-target network. Even if the enemy identifies and shoots down a drone, the rest of the formation continues. In effect, Gambit 6 allows the Air Force to scale combat power dramatically, without scaling pilot numbers, maintenance burdens, or training pipelines. And this leads directly into the bigger strategic story behind the aircraft, a story rooted in decades of technological evolution, fierce global competition, and the changing face of modern warfare. For the last 30 years, American air power has operated under what many defense analysts call the tyranny of exquisite technology. The United States builds the most advanced aircraft in the world, stealthy, precise, ultra-capable, but each one costs a massive amount of money and takes years to replace. The F-22 costs around $150 million per jet. The F-35, designed to be affordable, still costs about $80 million before adding upgrades. Losing a single aircraft is a strategic and political problem, not simply a tactical setback. And meanwhile, rivals led China and Russia aren't trying to match the U.S. plane for plane. Instead, they're building large numbers of good-enough fighters and, more importantly, dense layers of surface-to-air missile systems that can cover hundreds of miles with overlapping tracking radars and interceptor missiles. This creates deadly barriers called A2AD zones, anti-access area denial networks designed to push American aircraft away from key regions. In any conflict, especially one in the Indo-Pacific, the math becomes worrying. China could deploy thousands of anti-air missiles. The U.S. cannot afford to attrit its small high-end fleet in a protracted campaign. This is exactly the problem the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, launched in 2023, was designed to fix. Instead of investing only in expensive crewed jets, the Pentagon chose to build unmanned force multipliers, assets that are capable, fast, adaptable, and, crucially, replaceable. In other words, the Air Force wants a larger, more distributed fleet where losing a few units doesn't cripple the entire operation. That's where Gambit 6 stands out. General Atomics wasn't the only competitor. Boeing proposed an upgraded MQ-28 Ghostbat. Northrop Grumman, famous for the B-2 and B-21 stealth bombers, also entered the contest. Lockheed Martin leveraged its F-35 and NGAD experience. But General Atomics took a different approach, scaling up from their world-leading unmanned experience rather than scaling down from manned aircraft. They focused on three pillars. Speed, close to a fighter's performance, stealth, low absorbable design, and autonomy, AI that reduces pilot workload. Just as importantly, they promised rapid production. Traditional fighter programs take 10 to 15 years. General Atomics claimed they could field production gamut 6 units by 2027, faster than almost any major U.S. combat aircraft program in modern history. Quick question for you. Should AI combat drones like the Gambit 6 be allowed to make lethal decisions without a human pilot? Tell me what you think. The AI onboard Gambit 6 is another generational shift. Earlier drones required constant joystick-style supervision. Gambit 6 is built to interpret mission intent. The pilot says, hold this formation, scout this corridor, suppress that radar, or engage that target, and the drone executes the details autonomously. It selects flight paths, chooses evasion angles, coordinates with nearby drones, and can even react to pop-up threats. In high-threat airspace, this speed of reaction is not merely convenient, it is necessary for survival. This autonomy also helps address the Air Force's chronic pilot shortage. Pilot training pipelines are long, costly, and slow to expand, but AI doesn't need sleep, food, training jets, flight instructors, or years of experience. It needs processing power, data, and updates. Scaling drone fleets becomes a matter of manufacturing and software deployment. Strategically, this is transformative. Imagine a conflict scenario in the Western Pacific. A single F-35 leads a formation of four gambits. Two fly ahead scanning for early warnings. One detects an enemy SAM battery. Another spots an incoming adversary drone. A third listens for radio emissions. All of this data flows to the human pilot through an encrypted network. 
and with a single command, a simple high-level signal, the drones coordinate, maneuver, approach, strike, evade, or withdraw. This model overwhelms traditional defensive systems. A radar that can track a handful of stealthy jets might fail when confronted with 20 or 30 radar returns. Some will be decoys, some will be jammers, some will be lethal. Air defense networks become saturated and confused. And if you're still watching, you're clearly one of the curious ones. Consider subscribing. This channel is built for people like you. International interest is already growing. Australia wants to pair gambits with its F-35s. Japan is evaluating CCAs for its own modernization programs. NATO allies are studying whether CCAs should become an alliance-wide force multiplier. And adversaries are racing to peep up. China is developing the FH-97 and GJ-11 stealth drones. Russia is continuing work on the S-70 Ohotnik heavy strike drone. The global competition is intense and accelerating. The selection of Gambit 6 for the Air Force's CCA lineup revealed several priorities. The U.S. needed a system that was affordable, scalable, maintainable with existing skill sets, upgradable with evolving AI capabilities, and quick to produce. General Atomics delivered a platform that checks each of those boxes while retaining advanced combat performance. The exact specifications remain partly classified, but what has been revealed is impressive. The aircraft can reportedly exceed Mach 0.9, giving it speed comparable to fourth-generation fighters. Its operational radius reaches several hundred miles, enough to operate across vast regions without constant refueling. Its stealth shaping doesn't match the F-22 or B-21, but its radar cross-section is small enough to complicate enemy tracking. The economic case is perhaps the strongest. For the price of one F-35, the Air Force could potentially deploy five or six Gambit-6 drones, each capable of carrying weapons, sensors, or electronic warfare payloads. That changes force design dramatically. Instead of relying on a small number of exquisite aircraft to perform all missions, the future Air Force could deploy mixed formations capable of overwhelming defenses, scouting vast regions, and striking multiple targets simultaneously. The modular architecture makes the aircraft incredibly adaptable. Want a jamming variant? Install an EW module. Need long-range surveillance? Mount a high-fidelity optical sensor. Need air-to-air -air dominance? Load missiles. Need decoys and false targets? Equip radar reflectors and deception payloads. The system is plug-and-play, a revolution in combat aviation logistics. Another major advantage, rapid upgrade potential. With AI-driven aircraft, combat performance can be improved not only through hardware, but through software updates, new algorithms, new tactics, new detection filters, new flight logic. All can be uploaded fleet-wide in days. Future drones might fight differently from one week to the next, adapting to adversary behavior in real time. As nations race to integrate AI into warfare, ethical debates intensify. Should autonomous drones be allowed to fire weapons without human oversight? Should AI be allowed to override a pilot's command in certain scenarios? How do you prevent algorithmic escalation in a conflict? These questions are no longer theoretical. They will shape treaties, laws, and doctrines for decades. Yet despite the concerns, one good fact stands out. The age of the loyal wingman has arrived. Gambit 6 is not a prototype. It's not a speculative idea. It's the beginning of a new era where human pilots lead formations of intelligent, high-performance, combat-capable machines. A future where manned fighters become command hubs, not solo warriors. A future where air superiority is determined not just by the best aircraft, but by the best network. The General Atomics ASI Gambit-6 represents this shift, a fast, stealthy, adaptive, AI-driven aircraft designed to fly into danger, absorb risk, overwhelm defenses, and reshape the balance of power in the skies. It is the next evolution of air warfare, and it's only the beginning. Like this video to help more people understand the next evolution of air combat.